Hi, and thank you for joining me for this training session. In this video, we're going to take an in-depth look at all things document related and document controlling inside of Novacore. First thing we're going to do, and in most of the videos, we're going to do a bit of document controlling in the SNR or ASQA section. This document controlling is exactly the same in the DMS and any other framework that you have created. All the document controlling properties and all the document controlling in Novacore is exactly the same in all the different frameworks and modules. Okay, so I'm going to go to the SNR section and I'm going to bring up my policies. First thing I'm going to do is right click on a document and have a look at all the available options in the right click menu. So for this one I'm going to click on my access and equity policy. By right clicking I can see what's available. There's edit which allows me to edit the document and make changes. Copy the document lets me copy the document's location and paste it into another section such as the document management system so that then I can have a link in the document management system to this original document. It doesn't actually copy the entire document, it just merely copies a link to the document location. I also have copy this document's hyperlink which allows me to share the document via an email, via a web browser or inside another document to be used internally. So as long as that person is on your local network they can access that document. The ability to print and print controlled is also in the right click. Print controlled actually means that the document will be printed exactly how you see it and print means it'll be watermarked as uncontrolled. This is a handy feature to have when you want to control the distribution of your documentation. Approve, obviously if I have approval rights the ability is for me to be able to approve the document. Check out and check in. Check out a document allows me to check it out so that I can work on it externally and then not worry about anybody else who's going to be using that document in the system because it will be marked as checked out by me and they can only view the document and not edit it until I check the document back in. Export allows me to export the document as an original, so whatever the original format is in Novacore and then export as a PDF obviously allows me to export that as a PDF and delete is an option too, allows me to delete the document. Okay, first thing we're going to actually look at is the edit function. Right click and edit and you'll see it'll open up the document inside of Microsoft Word because it is a Word document. The document opens outside of Novacore, so there, there is no attachment from the document to Novacore in terms of embedding. We now have a unique Novacore toolbox in our Microsoft Word, so you'll know when you've opened a Novacore document because you've got this unique toolbox, and you've also got a couple of extra little features in Word. The toolbox allows you to change the document name. You can also see who it was created by and the created date. You can apply a template. And you can also have a look at the revision date and the revision number. Here you can set who you want the document to be approved by, if there is anyone in particular. If you don't choose anyone, whoever your RTO administrator is, so the person who uses the RTO ADM account, or the person who has been set as the default user uh, for approval will be in that uh, uh, drop down list and also get the default approval. Your next review, you can also set here how uh, long it is before the next review interval. Uh, by default it's 12 months and if you don't have anything set in there it'll be 12 months. Here you can also add revision notes, any notes as to why you're revising or making changes to this document which comes in very handy uh, when wanting to look back on the document and see exactly what changes you've made and why they were made. Some of the unique features you'll see when opening a Novacore document in Word is this Approve button here. You can approve the document straight from the Word uh, document itself. Under File you'll also see a couple of other things that are interesting including Save and Save as Complete. If you do try to save as, it is disabled for Novacore documents. And Printing allows you to not only print normally but print controlled as well. If you want to insert special Novacore fields such as custom fields and revision control fields, they now are housed under the insert options. And then you can see here insert custom field and revision field. So all you do is simply click on insert and insert those fields and home is where you'll find your approve 
uh, and under file is your new save and save as complete but if you do make changes to the document uh, for instance I'm just going to change that and then you click the cross in the top right hand corner you will be prompted if you would like to save you can simply choose yes or no and that will save the document accordingly we're going to have a look at some of the statuses of documents now and these really uh, play a huge part on what you can do with the document for instance a document that is approved so at the top here green tick if you're not sure what any of these statuses mean in the status column just hover your mouse over it and it'll explain exactly what that means red tick is waiting approval green ticks approved you've got your pen and your pad that's being edited pen and a pad with a clock means it's waiting to be edited and then you've got a newly imported document which looks like that I'm going to go to an approved document so I'm going to choose this risk management policy when I right click you'll see edit is not available I can only view the document that's because this document is approved it's approved at version 1.0 the only way I can make changes to this document is to revise it now please keep in mind if revise is not showing up to an approved document the chances are you don't have approval rights as a user and have to contact whoever your Novacore administrator is to give you the correct permissions if you're allowed to or not uh, for this particular training session I will be an administrator so I will be having all the options available I'm going to click revise if I want to make changes to this document and it's going to automatically assign me revision 1.1 I can also set here who I'd like to approve the document once again if you don't select anyone whoever your default approver is in application options or your RTO ADM account will be default you can add revision notes here and the other great thing you can do is select an external file if you have a risk management policy that you have used in Novacore for a while and decide to use a new risk management policy so one that has either been purchased or developed outside of Novacore you can revise this with an external file simply by choosing this option here choosing your external file and then clicking the OK button and that will bring in your external file as revision 1.1 and your original will still be 1.0 so that you've got all the version controlling that you need inside the system if it's a major revision you simply tick major here and the, the revision number will go to 2.0 automatically just remember it's up to you to determine what's a, a major and minor revisions obviously minor changes to the document will, will count as a minor revision and if the document is getting a complete rewrite and major policy changes then obviously it's a major what we're going to do is we're going to keep it as minor. Novacore automatically knows that 1.0 was the old version. It's dropped it up to 1.1. We're going to click OK and open up the document. You'll see now that this is now in edit mode. I can now edit the document because I'm revising it. Its new revision is 1.1 as we can see here on the left hand side and that's the current document that I will be editing in here. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is pretend to make some changes, even though you will probably make real changes. And I'm going to save this document so I can say yes. And then all I simply have to do is approve this document now that it's been saved. Now, if you want to give a little bit more of a clearer status, one good way to do this when editing the document is not do what I just did and click the cross up in the top right hand corner here. But what you want to do is go to File and Save as Complete. Save as complete then gives the status of the document as waiting approval. All you simply do then is right click on the document, click approve and say yes. Now you can see that version 1.1 is our current version and 1.0 is no longer being shown. It's automatically been archived. If you want to view that archive, simply head up here to revision history and you can then click on the drop down menu and have a look at the previous version 1.0. You will not be able to revise this document. You can view it. And all you simply do is click view or double click on the document. And there'll be no worry about this document being used in error because it'll be watermarked across it as superseded and it'll have version 1.0 here. You'll know you won't be able to edit it because when you try to click on anything, it won't allow you to type. And of course, all the Microsoft functionality across the ribbon bar will be blanked out. If you have a PDF document in the system and it's approved and you would like to revise it, you simply use the external revision process. So right click like on this one at the top here, you click revise and you have to choose an external file. As we know, PDFs cannot be edited 
and then you choose your new version of the PDF and then you choose open and it will then replace that PDF with the new version that you've chosen externally in the system. Document controlling is very, very easy in NovaCore. You have a various uh, amount of options and one of them that's a very powerful one that not a lot of people get is the ability to delete. If you do right click on a document and happen to delete it and it was an accident, just like I'm doing now, that policy that was the policy at the bottom to do with work, health and safety has been deleted and it was an accident. All I simply do is head up to deleted documents and it will show me all my deleted documents. At the bottom here, its status is deleted, is work, health and safety policy. I simply click on that right click and I'll see all my document control one of them is undelete and it brings it back to the status that it was before its deleting uh, status was set and there you have it controlling documents in NovaCore is very easy be sure to check out some more of our training sessions that we have on YouTube you can follow us by going to youtube.com forward slash NovaCore systems or you can head to our website www.novacore.com.au